I have to admit, this is the cleanest my bedroom has been in a long time, probably ever since I moved back in with my parents. Today, we're gonna go through my entire collection, every single pair from like non-hype GR to super hyped up limited release and even some custom ones. And I'll share the stories behind some of the pairs because if I were to share the story behind every pair, this would be like a two, three hour full length feature film. It would be way too long. So I have a large portion of my sneaker collection in my room, as you can tell, but I I also have a bunch of it in storage as well because you can't put all the shoes in this room or else it would just look like a complete sneaker store if it doesn't look like one already and it would just be way too claustrophobic we're gonna get outside i have garbage bags full of sneakers still sitting that i want to show you guys as part of my collection but before we get into my entire sneaker collection i want to give a huge thank you and shout out to today's sponsor karma aka shop tagger you guys know them i've used them in the past for sneaker shopping online all the time if you guys don't know what karma is it is an app and a google chrome extension that will make your sneaker shopping experience way less stressful. Click the top link in the description to download the Google Chrome app so you can make sneaker shopping online a lot easier. For myself, I typically use them to create lists online so I can, you know, organize what sneakers I'm gonna be hunting for, looking for. One of my favorite things about Karma is that you can have notifications set up for when items go on sale at a certain price, whether it be 25% off, 50% off, or a certain price point. That way you can snipe by the item you were waiting to go on sale, or you can also get notified for when the sneakers get back in stock because you guys know keeping track of restocks is a headache and you can use karma not just for sneakers you can use it for everything including clothing pokemon cards camera equipment the list goes on because you can make as many lists as you want karma also does coupon hunting for you as well so you can save a couple of dollars or a percentage of your purchase whenever you use them and then they also have cash back rewards so if you shop at certain retailers say maybe champ sports for example you get cash back on your purchase and it's not just champs there's a lot of other websites you can shop on for cash back as well. So download the Karma app if you guys don't have it yet already. It's linked in the top of the description and in my pinned comment. Okay, so I've been waiting for like a nice spring day to film this video, at least this portion of the sneaker collection outside. Of course, with it being so nice, everybody is mowing their lawn. Like every single 30 minutes, there's a different person in the neighborhood mowing their lawn. So if you hear it in the background, I apologize. Hopefully the microphone quality will be up to par and uh, you guys can hear what I'm saying. So I have two garbage bags full of shoes and we're just gonna dig into these like mystery bags, basically show you guys each of the pairs. I also have a bunch of sneakers for sale, which I'll be selling over the next couple of weeks. I'll be doing a dedicated for sale video and a bunch of the shoes you're gonna see in today's video will be for sale as well. So if you guys wanna be a part of that sale, just follow me on Instagram, it's at sneakertoxie and DM me saying you want access to the sneaker sale. So it looks like this first massive bag has a bunch of my Converse Pumas and some of my beater shoes. So we'll just quickly run through these. So to kick things off, we got some white Adidas Super Quartz, black Puma suede, one of the OG colorways of the Puma Future Rider, Nike Outlet Classics, the Element React 55. Ah, oh, this is where they went. I was wondering why I haven't seen these in over two months. We have my beater pair of Air Jordan 1 bread. You can tell they've been really, really worn and really, <laughs> really, really creased up. Oh my gosh. That's where these went too? My custom Supreme Dunk Low inspired Nike Air Force One. These are so sick. I have a bunch of these for sale. Chuck Taylor 2s in this sort of like natural cream colorway. Puma Thunder Spectra. Okay, I guess we have a couple of Fugazi ones in here too. Check these out. We got the Off-White Ultra Boost. Shout out to you if you're a real one in the Sneaker Talk fam and you were watching my Green Hills and Philippine vlogs. Those are some of my funnest videos to make. We got some more Adidas Super Quartz. Adidas Ultra Boost ATR Mids in this black colorway. These are sick and super Super, super comfortable a6 running shoes as well love a6 i grew up wearing them in junior high i did a lot of cross-country running adidas d lillard twos these are actually the very first sneakers i ever received for free and uh yeah these glow in the dark as well hands down my most comfortable nike sneaker in my collection my nike air max plus it's the vapor max sole and you have the air max plus uh up top van chucka mids right here these are kind of cool they're like a weak colorway easily one of my favorite boots of all time the uh, puma xo parallel 
2.0s and I'm already 5'11 like height but when you wear these you gain a full inch because the outsole is so thick so I become six feet when I wear these. Another boot that I highly recommend if you can find them are the Chuck Taylor boots. These are really really great. They definitely have a very sneaker like aesthetic but they have all the boot like functionality you want out of a boot. Limited edition black and gold uh, black and gold Timberlands right here. Some Tims that have some fur on the inside. Very cool. SF AF1 highs. They have the, uh, the umbilical cord right here the strap very hard to put on and off you have to like spend a good two minutes trying to put these on the LV green hells customs I think this will be a really fun giveaway over on twitch oh we got some more fakes in here so we're not gonna spend too too long on these fake ones because I don't I don't really cherish them they're not really part of my collection oh we got some Kuma uh, Blaze of Glory Monkey Time collaboration. Very, very dope shoe. Kuma XO Suede. This is like a mid-top version of the Suede that have some like tech wear inspired straps going on. This is when I thought my shoe size was size 11 uh, back in high school. So these are a pair of red Converse, which I actually Galaxy painted myself. So yeah, what do you guys think? This was like my very first custom. Galaxy Converse. I think I should give these away to somebody because these are not my size. I thought it, like I thought it was size 11 for the longest time. Turns out I'm a size 10. Converse boots right here. This is like an olive and black colorway. Definitely underrated. Probably one of my most worn sneakers in my collection. The Nike Air Force One Low Utility. This was the very first like utility ones that they started to do. And I bought these in Manila as well. I reviewed these in the Philippines too. These are really dirty. Some Vans old schools. And I bought these in Japan. And people kept telling me that these were fake because they have the checkered board tongue. And that's because it's a Japan exclusive. And these also have the ultra cush on the inside. So they're very comfortable. Very comfortable pair of Vans. Bought these on my very first trips. Bruh, the second I finished filming the outdoor portion of my sneaker collection, my neighbor just finished mowing his lawn. I feel so dumb, but that's the first half of my collection. And uh, check it out. Now I have to spend maybe the next five, 10 minutes picking these all up. But yeah, next up we're gonna go inside and I'll do some voiceover and show you guys a bunch of the sneakers in my collection, which are most likely gonna be for sale. So if there's something you like here, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. And then when we're done that, we're gonna get to the heat like the absolute, my favorite, my favorite pairs of my collection. So we have the Air Jordan 1 High KO Royal Colorway, the Converse Pro Leather IBN Jasper collaboration. The quality on these is nuts and so are the details. We have the Air Jordan 4 Levi's and the black colorway, brand new. I still haven't worn these yet. One of my only luxury sneakers in my collection, some Gucci high tops right here with this black on black Gucci print. The Air Jordan 3 Fire Red Denims. I love these shoes, but I would definitely like to add the Japanese pair to my collection with that Japanese katakana on the back. These were gifted to me. These are the Air Jordan 6 Pinnacles in this golden metallic colorway. We have the Perks in Mini Chuck Taylors, and these are really cool. You can take off this uh, puffer jacket zipper on the top layer and reveal this other layer underneath. Really, really interesting pair. We have the Air Jordan 12 University Gold. I've only worn these once. I'm probably gonna sell these. We also have the Air Jordan 1 High Black Metallic Gold. It's still brand new dead stock. The Puma XO Parallel in the Olive Green colorway. I also have the OG colorway as well. These definitely make you very tall. These are the Puma Cell Venom Adder Air collaboration. Definitely a very wild looking dad shoe. We also have the Puma RS100 Adder Air collaboration. These are the sneakers that are basically copied by Nike and Sakai and those ones took off a lot more and went way more mainstream. We have some Fragment Nike Blazer Low collaborations. These are really cool. I love the attention to detail on these. These are the Adidas and Nike Runner or I5923 Neighborhood collaboration. These, to my knowledge, are the only Nike runners to use Primate on the upper. We have the Vegeta Tan Puma Clydes, and this is a collaboration with Jay-Z. These are some Nike Sock Dart inspired A-Ape running shoes, the uh, sister company to a bathing ape. The ZX-1000C in this like aqua colorway. This is one of the OG colorways from back in the day, and these give some really true retro vintage runner vibes. I love these shoes a ton. We got some Adidas Super Stands, a combination of the Stan Smith and the Adidas Superstar. We also have the Earth. Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Not too crazy about these. Probably gonna sell these, honestly. Here are some Adidas ZX, I believe 4004D sneakers. They're very cool. I like the colorway a lot. Haven't gotten too much use out of them, but these were one of the first 4D sneakers I ever got to experience. These are the Adidas ZX 8000 Concepts collaboration, and uh, these are basically inspired by those thermal jackets, those things, those blankets, those thermal blankets that the runners put on after the races to keep their heat maintained so they don't get sick and stuff like that and recover better. Here are the IRA 
Rack 2020 ZX8000 collaboration. The materials on these are crazy. Got some Gore-Tex in here, mixed in with leather and premium suede. The color blocking and colorway is really, really out there. More A-Ape running shoes. These ones are basically inspired by like the Balenciaga uh, high top runners. They're really cool. More of a streetwear looking shoe versus the high fashion Balenciaga. These are really dope. The Air Jordan 1 Bread, aka Bands from the DMP pack. These are released alongside a Celtic pair and I've owned like four to five different pairs of these over the last eight years. Here we have the OG colorway of the Puma RSX, one of my favorite Puma sneakers to date and I'm sure a lot of you guys like these as well. We also have the Pharrell Tennis Hues. This is sort of like a rainbow prime knit upper. Definitely more of a summer shoe. Kind of hard to wear but it's like a like a vacation kind of sneaker in my opinion. But Cheddar Tan old school lows right here. These are really, really nice. Unfortunately, I just really haven't worn them at all. This is the London colorway of the Adidas and Nike Runner. Super, super exclusive pair. These are the Converse Chuck Taylor 2 car leather pack. This is the brown colorway. They did two other colorways. And these are the very first sneakers I bought in New York on my very first trip to New York with Converse. Here are some Sky Top 4s, a sneaker that is heavily inspired and influenced by the Nike Air Yeezy 2 with Kanye and Nike. You can definitely see all the similarities just looking at the shoe. Here is the triple black colorway of the Puma XO Parallels, along with another colorway of the Puma RSX. These are like a very close tie for my favorite RSX colorway. I love the hits of like this neon green and the hot punch pink. Here's an OG colorway of the Adidas and Nike Runner. If you guys know this shoe, you would know how much of an impact this sneaker had in the uh, like casual sneaker scene and just general consumer marketplace. It was a very, very popular shoe. I also have the Air Jordan 13 and 14, uh, I believe DMP pack or GMP pack. I bought these from the Jordan store early when they released uh, a long time ago. Never ended up wearing them. I do want to sell them. Not really a fan of the 14s and I like the 13s a lot, but when you sell these sneakers, you pretty much have to sell them as a pack. Here are the Shibuya Crossing or Sneaker Crossing white colorway of the Adidas NMD R1 V2. Probably Probably one of the best NMD R1 V2 colorways. Here's the triple white or natural Adidas Ultra Boost ATR mids, an amazing sneaker, just really hard to keep clean. We also have the triple black recently released Pharrell Hue NMDs. These are so dope. We have the white laces on them right now, but they also came with a set of black laces too. We also have the, uh, I forget the name, I think it's the Holy Pack Pharrell Hue NMDs. These are so dope and I have a cool lacing style on these. I got these in a trade or I bought them from a subscriber at a uh, sneaker convention. These definitely give me summer vibes and I like these shoes a lot. It's a really unique kind of colorway. And then we have a yellow colorway of the Pharrell Hue NMDs. These are so sick and I think the only other colorway for that came out in yellow for this particular shoe. This one's like an all pure yellow though, unlike the original pair that had the white midsole. Now we're gonna get to the heat in my bedroom. This is the stuff that uh, I really like the most. Some of the more collectible sneakers and a lot of these have the boxes. Although a lot of my Ultra Boost behind me won't have the boxes because I intend to wear them all and like beat them up and destroy them. So before we get to like sort of the grailish section, I have a bunch of other stuff to get to first. So we have this wall stacked with boxes. So I figure we would go through all this stuff first and then we have more shoes down here. Down here, yep, there we go. All the way down there. Uh, in some little cubbies as well. So let's start off with these boxes. Gooby-Doo, Chuck Taylor, Converse 1970s, Mystery Machine. I grew up watching a lot of Scooby-Doo. I remember renting the VHS tapes. Next up are the Reebok Zig Kinetica BBC collaboration, Billionaire Boys Club. These actually glow in the dark. Air Force Ones. These are a custom pair that I had done at the Full Locker store or Jordan store during the All-Star weekend. It actually says Sneaker Talk on the lake, uh, the Aglet. It's not the aglets. The little lace lock things. It says talk there. Got some golden lace tips. Kuma RSX3. Sonic the Hedgehog collaboration. The Sonic and Tails. These are sick. I love Sonic the Hedgehog and the details on these are absolutely nuts. These are the Adidas ZX8000 Lego collaboration. The OG colorway. These are so cool, so playful, so colorful. And uh, they actually released a bunch more colorways for the Lego collaboration last week, which we got one sent to us by Adidas. So that will be later in the video. ZX Flux LE. This is a sneaker I bought in uh, in Singapore with the store limited edition. So it's really fitting. I bought the store or bought the shoe from the actual store it was a collaboration with. That's really cool in the home country, Singapore. Check out the Singapore vlogs if you haven't yet seen them yet, but really nice details. These are inspired by like 
one of the tra traditional uh, pieces of clothing in Singapore. So very awesome shoe. Y3 Casa Highs, uh, probably the most iconic Y3 sneaker. I have it in the triple white colorway. These are a custom pair of Adidas sneakers that Adidas gifted me when they relaunched their Queen Street store in downtown Toronto. So these are actually a fusion with the Adidas tubular sock. If some of you guys remember that shoe, that's where the upper of the shoe is from. And the, the outsole and midsole are from the Adidas NMD R2. So you have that thick block right there on the boost. And uh, yeah, these are limited to, I believe, 12 pairs. So probably the most limited sneaker in my entire collection. Next up are the Gary Vaynerchuk. These are the 003s. These were a gift from K-Swiss. Haven't worn them. Actually, I did wear them once for a photo. Really cool. On the bottom, it says the mission, the motive, the macro. Gary V is one of my biggest inspirations. I have other shoes from his uh, collaborations. I have all of his shoes, actually, uh, of his collaborations with K-Swiss. So you see, the, see them later on. Air Force One Lows. These are the Shibuya colorway. I picked these up in Osaka, oddly enough, in Japan. This was from the trip, my very last trip abroad. The material they use on the toe box definitely is not the most comfortable thing in the world. Puma Classics right here, the Puma Suede Classics MCM. I got these in a trade with a subscriber. And unfortunately, one shoe is not the same size as the other. They're not the same size. One's like a 10, the other one's a 10.5. How does that happen? That Cognac, this is like the most iconic kind of colorway for MCM. Air Jordan 1 Mid. I bought two of these pairs by accident. This is the pair I got online. This is the new Gym Red colorway review these on the channel so check that out if you haven't seen it yet already probably going to be one of the best mids of the year and then another pair of jordan one mids these are a custom that say sneaker talk on one side and scarborough on the other this was done at the jordan store before it was an actual store store this was a pop-up time around all-star weekend when toronto was getting a lot of love from all the major brands so that's just one stack let's get to the next stack these are the zx flux uh xeno these are the sneakers that got me into Adidas. Without these shoes coming out, it might've taken a little longer, but uh, yeah, these were also an All-Star Weekend release, I believe. These are incredible. If you know about the ZX Flux or the ZX line, the heritage behind it, you know how important this kind of shoe is. And uh, yeah, this shoe just wowed me, man. The 3M reflective upper looks so, so cool at nighttime. Puma suede outer error. These are really cool. I think a lot of the outer error stuff that Puma does with uh, with it, that they do with each other is really, really uh, amazing. We also have the Ultra Boost 19s. This is a really sentimental shoe to me. I met my like one of my best homies and my main photographer, Douglas, through this shoe. So he was the one who shot this campaign with Foot Locker. We also have the Ultra Boost 20. Haven't really gotten around to wearing these too, too much. These are cool though. I love that iridescent midsole. That boost is like one of the first times they actually did that kind of print. DX 8000s. These are the Frozen Lemonade colorway and uh, this is a shoe I completely forgot I owned until last week because they kind of got lost or pushed around in the move. So I just discovered I had these and I saw them on Instagram and I was like, damn, those are so sick. I wish I had them. And then I checked my garage as I'm cleaning up and organizing. And this pair is, oh, this pair is so sick, especially for the summer. I love frozen lemonades. Gary V. 005. This is the last shoe that Gary Vee did with K-Swiss. Picked these up at ComplexCon when I was there, I believe in 2019. And uh, let me just pull these out. There we go. And I actually met Gary Vaynerchuk himself again for the second time. And these are actually signed as well. So, uh, so yeah, really, really cool shoe. This is more of like a shoe for my collection. I know some of you guys have shoes like that. You just have no intentions at all to wear. It's more or less a collectible. We have the OG colorway or OG collaboration with Puma for the Sonic the Hedgehog stuff. These are incredible, man. Look at these. The materials on these, the storytelling on these. It even has like little rings, like you know you collect in Sonic the Hedgehog video games. There's rings on the shoe. Really, really cool shoe. Uh, I've had these on display for a long time, so even the box. The box ended up like discoloring because the natural sunlight was beaming it for so, so long. Puma does a lot of really cool collaborations, which is one of the things I really love about them. This is one they did with Super Mario. And I actually have, let me, let me grab it for you guys. My very first console ever with my OG game, the Super Mario 64 cartridge still inside. So when Puma hit me up with these, I was super excited 
These are the Puma Future Rider Nintendo or Super Mario 64. And uh, it's my like favorite Puma sneaker of all time mixed with my OG, like my one of my favorite video games of all time. These are the Red Flints that just came out. Review of these coming soon, likely on my second channel or maybe this channel. The Red Flints, you guys know the Blue Flints or just the regular Flints, probably one of the most iconic 13s and most loved. So I like the fact that they made like a little switch up with the red because red's my personal favorite color. Converse Chuck Taylor 2 Future collaboration the uh, these tags are actually velcro straps so you, you can interchange them if you want definitely one of the most under underrated uh, Converse collaborations in my opinion this is in collaboration with the NBA player everyone says I look like Kyle Kuzma fight all pro Kuzma mid so they say it's a mid top this is like as high as a Jordan one if not even higher really comfortable sneaker Give me kind of these Rick Owen vibes and I really like these. I want to wear them more, but in the summer, wearing shoes that high is going to make my ankles sweat buckets. These came out in a celebration of the Raptors winning. I think they limited these to 416 pairs or something like that for Toronto's area code. We got the Adidas, I want to say Pure Boost, not Ultra Boost, Pure Boost. These have like this Raptors we the North championship prints all over with a bunch of their playoff scores as well and the dates and everything just really really cool shoe if you're from Toronto you were gonna like love these shoes even more than anyone else down below here in front of my bed I have my old like sneaker storage units which I used to stack up right now I had them like this I actually really really like this layout because you can really see what's there so yeah we're gonna quickly run through the shoes and then we're gonna get to the heat right behind me so we got one of the most comfortable sneakers in my collection the adidas eqt 9317 i remember buying these online in class while i was in university zx flux cityscape one of my favorite uh, ZX Flux models has this cool kind of like glitch pattern going on really really unique sneaker got some Adidas Stan Smiths right here These are the brand new ones that just came out and they're actually fully sustainable sneakers made with like completely recyclable materials or recycled materials So very cool that they're doing all their Stan Smiths like that Air Jordan 1 low the more Jordan 1 lows We got the reverse breads fantastic colorway red uh, mids for 2020 slash 2021 Air Force 1 tights this is the triple white colorway adidas superstar is right here but this time with boost air max plus premiums this is the uh that neon green colorway super loud these are the dnas and these are amazing man i think uh these just restocked at certain places if these were to release like back with the hype of 2016 ultra boost they'd be reselling for triple easily now around i got them for actually under retail and you can too if you guys use the karma app so download the link down below we got some nike blazer vintage 77s one of the og colorways that retroed when they were bringing the sneaker back originally shout out to all my filipinos out there we got the commonwealth commonwealth zx 500 rm i picked these up also in the philippines as well and man i miss the philippines bro i miss the philippines it's like one of their premier sneaker boutiques there one of my only new balance in my collection these right here are the uh, the 997H. These are really sick, man. These are a really cool colorway. And I even bought these for my girlfriend in Japan because she, she was such a fan of the shoe. But we couldn't find them in her size in North America because they never released for her. So bought them in Japan. Everybody's feet are always very small in Japan. Jordan 1 Lowe's right here. Triple white colorway. Review is on the way. Some ZX 2K Boost right here. OG colorway. Haven't worn these yet. These were a, a gift from Foot Locker. We got another Nike Blazer Mid 77 Vintage. This is a woman's colorway. Kind of reminds me of the Hollows Eve or that orange one that they did with Off White. These are the Adidas Ultra Boost 21. And these have even more boost than the Ultra Boost 20 and all the other models before them. Look how thick. Look how thick that boost is, man. That is huge. That is freaking juicy boost right there. One of the OG colorways. I gotta give these a test run. I'm gonna start running again because uh, I feel like adding a morning run to my my routine will definitely help me a lot, uh, both physically and mentally. So Ultra Boost 21s. So I'm gonna put some miles in these. New black colorway of the Adidas ZX8000 Lego collaboration. They did a few different colorways for this shoe. So this is the one that Adidas sent over from the brand new pack. Then we have some more Jordan 1 mids. We have the let's find out oh we got some 
triple white mids. Planning to review these on the second channel just because they're like a staple sneaker. They really up the quality on this one. And we have the Carmine 6s, uh, which we actually bought in the last video we did with the homies uh, Shop Tiger, aka Karma now. So yeah, shout out to Karma. Pick these up at the brand new Foot Locker Power Store and uh, the other stores as well, Champs. They had a bunch of these sitting downtown Toronto because they just released them uh, late. Next up are a bunch of the sneakers underneath my desk. We have a few pairs. So we have the Air Jordan 1 High Gym Red. These are really cool and honestly could have been like an OG colorway if they really wanted it to be. We have the uh, underneath of it. We got the mid top version where I'm gonna do a high top versus low top comparison video on the second channel. Next up are the most comfortable Jordan ones I've ever worn in my life. We have the Chili Red Air Jordan 1 High Zooms. These are really really loud nike air max 2090s these released last year around air max day and uh, they weren't too well received i think it's a really solid shoe but yeah they didn't just take off like the 270s i think the 270s were way more impactful for the air max line versus these 2090s but this is the og uh, duck camo colorway and then we also have another pair of air maxes these are the air max 97 and the triple white i wanted to do an updated review for this shoe since it's one of the most like watched sneaker reviews on the channel so triple white Air Max 97s and then we have some Adidas uh, X9000 L4s. This is a pretty cool shoe. They did some collaborations with uh, the game Cyberpunk 2077 on these but they were more of an Asia exclusive so unable to pick them up but still really comfortable shoe. Here's a closer look at a bunch more sneakers that I don't have in my room at the moment. We have the Converse Pro Leather Com de Garçon collaboration. I picked up a ton of these in the Philippines and I have a bunch of these for sale so stay tuned for that. We have the Atmos Crazy uh, Air Max Air Max 2 Crazy Light. This was a gift from a subscriber so shout out to David who was uh, living in Osaka at the time when he shipped these to me. We also have this bread colorway of the Puma Future Rider. One of the last sneakers I got to buy before all the lockdowns started taking place. Place. We got the Puma RSX 3s in the super colorway. Uh, this is what a shoe looks like when you wear it to a nightclub for one night in Japan. Here's some Vans boots. I'm not sure about the exact name for this one. I think it's the Skate MTE. They're like a mid-top sneaker boot. Not too crazy about these, but they are definitely good for the fall winter months. We have one of the most popular Air Max sneakers of all time, the Air Max 270s. These are sick. This is the OG colorway. I also have two colorways of the Converse ERX 260, the black one here alongside this natural one. I'll have a few of these for sale in various sizes very soon. We also have the Japanese pack Van Skate High. These are so cool. I love the colorway for these. The checkered board print, the Japanese on the side. Very, very underrated sneaker in my opinion. We have some Converse Chuck Taylor 1970s in the burgundy colorway alongside this red colorway. Here's a look at another 1970 that uses half suede and half leather. Very unique look and definitely going to be a shoe I can rock in the spring and summer months. We also have the Converse Fast Break Mid. This is a sneaker that released alongside an Air Jordan too. You can see the Jordan Wings logo on the insole right there. We have the Adidas Night Jogger in one of the OG colorways. Really dope shoe. I think it uh, definitely is an underrated Adidas sneaker. Next up are the Converse One Star Lows and the Undefeated Collaboration. Kind of gives me these like halo vibes with the green. I really like these shoes and probably one of my favorite One Stars. Here's some Chuck Taylor 1970 Lows. This is a collaboration with Carhartt, a very, very popular brand. You guys probably have heard of them. Some Nike outlet sneakers. I don't know the name for these, but I saw them at the outlet for like 40 bucks. And I was like, how do I say no to these? Here's the Calm de Garçon Converse Chuck Taylor. I picked these up in Japan actually uh, six or seven months before they actually saw an international release. I love these shoes a ton. Here are the Fragment collaboration with Converse on the Chuck Taylor 2. Really cool sneaker and I don't think too many people know about these. Here are the Converse Lux Moderns. These are one of the first sneakers I ever got at an international event. Converse flew me out to New York City for this release and it was really, really dope. So definitely one of my favorite trips and vlogs to make. We have the Pachetta Tan Skate High as well. Pick these up for full retail and they ended up going to the outlets for like half price but this whole Vachetta Tan wave was very very popular at the time. Here's the very first sneakers I got from Converse for free and shipped out to me. These are the Converse Chuck 2 from the Marble Pack and I actually customized these with a Comme des Garçons heart patch on the side. Here's some all black leather Converse Chuck Taylor 1970s as well. More of a dressier date night kind of pair and uh, yeah let's get back to the room. Next up is the sneaker wall in my bedroom and this is where there's going to be some 
sort of organization, some themes to the categories you're looking at. So off-white, air more up tempos. I don't wear these, I just like to keep them as little, like a souvenir, you know, from all the fun trips I've had in the Philippines. Air Jordan 1 Lows. These are the new Gym Red ones that just released. I reviewed these on the channel. As we go, this is the black colorway. Air Jordan 4 Metallic Reds. I don't mind beating shoes up, but this, this shoe in particular, I would feel guilty if I were to get them dirty. Next up, we have my second pair of Carmine 6s. I bought two pairs, as I mentioned earlier. So that's the second pair. Air Jordan 1 Mid uh, Unions, as they're called. Next up, we got a sneaker that was sitting in Toronto for quite some time. The Cool Gray 4s. Now resell on these is kind of crazy nuts. But yeah, these are so beautiful. Next up are another pair of 4s I love, especially because I'm from Toronto. The 6s. I wore these to outside actually during one of the playoff games for the Raptors when they won that beautiful beautiful year so Raptors 4 is right here they got stepped on it was raining but I didn't care because I was making some great memories in these Jordan 1 low I'm gonna call these the Jordan 1 low Philippines or Manila's because this is like the shoe of the Philippines Filipinos love the Jordan 1 lows and this is like the most popular colorway in the Philippines as far as I know a pair of Nike Air Max pluses in this really cool white colorway which has some like reflective accents some iridescent print going on really dope we also got the air jordan 3 jth uh, it's a collaboration with justin timberlake these are beautiful and it's not something you expect out of a jordan 3 this kind of like toned down earthy wood kind of color scheme really really unique look on a jordan 3 has a swoosh on the side as well and then the last pair in the boxes on the left side are some infrared sixes the black infrared sixes and uh, i think this is a 2014 release but I bought these in San Antonio, Texas, I think in 2017 or 2018. We went into a random shoe store. They had these along with some other sneakers sitting and my mind was blown. I'm like, they should not be sitting on shelves. So I scooped these up instantly and they're also my size too. Next up, we have the sneaker containers right here, fully loaded. So let's get to the very top. These are some Converse Chuck Taylor 1970s. I actually designed these ones myself in New York. Uh, Converse had a really cool exclusive special event that I was able to create my own shoe. And I wasn't really sure what I was doing at the time, but we have sort of like this black satin mixed with this shiny satin, more of a dressier kind of look since I wanted something a little flashier. So wore these to a red carpet event in downtown Toronto. Really fun to wear these. We also have a uh, KFC sneaker box up here too. They recently released like their own kind of retro Jordan 4 inspired slippers. So these are actually really comfortable and really funny too. So next up, we have these Pharrell Human Maids right here. These NMDs, really, really cool shoe. Custom My Adidas Ultra Boost. I believe these were limited to 800 pairs or 888 or something like that. But this is when, the, when they did the first wave. So we got the all white uh, colorway. Some of you guys might remember this launch that they did. I have it in two different colorways as well. We got a navy blue one. These ones weren't as limited. Uh, these were released about like six months later. Uh, we also have another custom My Adidas pair. This one here has gold hits on the side with this like iridescent heel cap, heel cup. Really, really fun shoe to wear. OG Ultra Boost, and you're gonna notice, all of my Ultra Boost, I threw away all the boxes because I love them so much, I don't plan to sell them. I wanna have easy access to pull them out. So we got the OG colorway of the Ultra Boost 1.0s. This is the, uh, the retro they did that has the Continental outsole, a bit more updated. Really dope shoe. We also have the creams as well as an essential for any Ultra Boost collector, in my opinion. You need to have these, man, the creams were such a fantastic release. We also have the highlighter uh, 1.0s right here. Really bold, really loud, such a fun shoe to wear. Like, you know those shoes that are really exciting to wear and you know we're gonna break next. This is one of those shoes. Ultra Boost Day Ones. This is kind of a really cool like tech wear inspired Ultra Boost. Picked these up in Las Vegas, my very first time there. We also got some Y3 Casas, the bread colorway or the bread toe. This was probably the uh, the next like most iconic colorway besides the triple white or the triple black. Pick these up secondhand for like one third the retail price. We also got the Nike Nike the Nike Nike Air Force One highs. Let's say Nike in Chinese on the back. Really cool shoe. I lined up for these actually in downtown Toronto while I was in college. I left my class a little early to get there. And then we have the Air Jordan 1 High Camos. This is the shadow camos that have some uh, 3M reflective prints. And then we also have the Puma 
Clyde Quartz uh, Disrupt, I believe. This is the orange colorway. Really comfortable shoe. Haven't played basketball on these, but they are a basketball shoe. Next up, we have a majority of my Air Jordan 1 highs. So, we got the Yeezy Boost 750. I, I say Jordan 1 highs and I pull out of the Yeezy, but this is the one uh, real Yeezy Boost 750s I have. One of these from a Key Master. Love this chocolate brown colorway and the outsole also glows in the dark, which is it's, it's insane. It's insane. All right, next up, we got the Rookie of the Year ones. Pick these up in Texas. These were sitting in like full size runs. Amazing shoe. The values of these has gone up a crazy amount as well. We got the off white laces in here too. We also have. This is where the heat comes in. This is where like a lot of the stuff I'm sure I know you guys will love. So we got some pine green ones. These were sitting for a long time as well in Canada, in Toronto. Now resale value has jumped up a fair, fair amount. I've only worn these one. Face Tasm is right here. Pick these up in Japan on release. The last pair were in my size. So uh, so yeah, fun memories tied to this. I'll have the card or the video pop up in the top right hand corner if you guys wanna check it out later. My Osaka trip was amazing. We got some more Jordan 1 heat. There's just so many boxes. These are bought in Singapore. I call these the Singapore ones. That's that gray colorway, the Hyper Crimson, I think they're called. Kind of like the Shadow 2.0s that just released, minus the orange, but really cool shoe. Uses a lot of suede instead of leather because it was something they were experimenting with that year in 2019. We also have another pair of ones. These are the Chicago's. Oh my gosh, Chicago ones up there in the breads in terms of the best sneaker of all time or best Jordan one of all time. I got my sneaker talk uh, embroidered lace little lace uh, lace lock things in here. And honestly, this is probably in my top two favorite sneakers in my entire collection. These were 650 US dollars when I got them at the time. Now the resale is a lot more than that. I can tell you that much. Next up, we have the Jordan 3 free throw lines. This is a really cool shoe to me because it uses that white cement three colorway that everybody loves when they think of the threes. But uh, they have on this pair, they have the red free throw line right there when Michael Jordan did that famous dunk from that line. And uh, on top of that, I bought these in uh, LA. Nike invited me to the All-Star Weekend there and it was an incredible experience. And I got to buy these at a special little pop-up in uh, in the little Tokyo, uh, little Tokyo area. We got the Sakai Nike Blazers. My favorite next to Air Force One lows when it comes to Nike sneakers. I love the Air Tech Challenge too. We got some Bapes right here. We got two colorways. We got the snakeskin one the black snakeskin and the green camo with the red patent leather hit. And I bought both of these in Japan at the Bape store. Another sneaker I bought in Japan from a resale store, which I could have bought these for retail for a long time because they were sitting, but the Utility Air Force One Lows in that Volt colorway. If you guys want to see some amazing sneaker shopping vlogging content, check out my Harajuku vlog. Off top right here, you can see the box already. It says hustle is the most important word ever. And this is probably the like most favorite sneaker in my collection but not just for, not really for aesthetic purposes, it's more for sentimental reasons and what this sneaker did for the channel. So inside are the Gary V 001s, the uh, first collaboration with K-Swiss. Now, I know what you're thinking, you know, this isn't your Jordan 1, this isn't an Ultra Boost, this isn't a Yeezy, it's a collaboration with a non-athlete. This is a collaboration with an entrepreneur, one of the very first ones out there uh, in terms of entrepreneurship collabs with the sneaker, not the first entrepreneur. And uh, these are also signed. Boom, we got Gary's signature right there. These released on Gary's birthday, I believe in 2017. And uh, he did a pop-up store, pop-up thing in New York on his birthday to celebrate the release of the shoe. And I asked my parents to uh, basically, or I asked my dad if I could skip school for that day or for the weekend or whatever to go buy his shoe and meet him because that was going to be like the first time to meet him. This is one of the times or a time period where I was consuming a lot of his content was really inspired and motivated by him. So yeah, met him and literally right after I bought these shoes, I cleared my schedule and I dropped out of college or university. Very, very important shoe. Without this shoe releasing, I might not have uh, what I have today with this channel. I might, not, I might never have become a full-time YouTuber. I went all in after buying this shoe. So shout out to Gary V. Awesome photos on screen right now. And so this is such an important shoe in my collection. We have the Adidas Alpha Edge 4D in this white colorway. This thing is so sick. Probably one of the best 4D sneakers out there. Next up, we have some Air Force One Reacts right here. This is the triple white colorway. I haven't really uh, given these a shot yet. I've just had these in the collection sitting, collecting dust. Air Max 270 Reacts. I haven't really worn these yet either. I bought these on sale to review, never ended up reviewing them. Uh, now the values have gone down a lot, but of course the Travis Scott ones are the most expensive ones. These are pretty, uh, pretty easy to find now, I think, at like Nike outlets. Some more ZX8000s. 
Legends, and I love the model because uh, they're releasing so many cool collaborations uh, with Adidas on these. So our, our Adidas is releasing collaborations on these. These are one of the coolest ones in my opinion. I love these because it's Bape. So we got Bape and Adidas teamed up on this shoe. Amazing shoe. I actually like these more than like the Bape Ultra Boost that release. Um, but yeah, these are incredible. They got the stash pocket, the gum sole, the famous Bape print. They released a green colorway too, but I got the black pair right here. And I bought these in person at the Adidas store. Jordan 1 Lowe's. I think we can rapid fire through some of these stuff. I know the video is getting quite long now. We got the, uh, I believe the Storm Blue Jordan 1 Lowe's. Really great colorway for these. Or Game Royal, I think they're also called. NMD R1 PK in the yellow colorway. Another Puma collaboration. We got the Puma. Super Mario Sunshine Puma Suede, man. These are sick. They got that cool water effect going on on the, uh, the side right there. Unfortunately, I never owned a GameCube, so I never put much time into Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, but yeah, really cool shoe. I just like the Nintendo 64 version a bit more. Or a lot more actually. Next up, we got some Puma Calibrate Runners. These are like a tech wear, almost like a 3D printed uh, shoe, I believe too, but by Puma. So kind of like the Alpha Edge 4D I have with the white knit upper and that 3D printed sole. Looks really, really unique. Then we have some Nike Air Force One Lows. This is the uh, the Co JP ones they did. This is like a black shadow snake skin kind of 3M vibe. Didn't get my exact size. These are a 10.5, so I'm selling them or gonna try and size swap for a 10 or a 9.5. Next are the uh, only collaboration to release with a pro gamer. Uh, we have the Ninja Knight Joggers. This isn't the OG colorway, unfortunately. They, they were very hard to get, um, but we have this newer colorway that released. We got the Ninja logo right there. I'm not a big Ninja fan, but I can appreciate what he's done for gaming culture and stuff, making it much more mainstream. I don't even really play Fortnite, but I have a deep history in Halo, so really cool to have these. It's kind of like a Dragon Ball Z theme. You know, it's like a Goku Knight Jogger. Got some Adidas Young Ones right here in this blue colorway. I think I picked these up online on Adidas' website. Website. Next up are my Adidas Yeezys. So let's get into it right now. Starting off with the only pair of 500s in my collection. And these were originally from Adidas. Uh, they actually gave them to me a week before they dropped, which is really cool. They've definitely grown on me. Just like I think the Wave Runners grew on a lot of people. Zions. I picked these up for resale uh, on a Facebook or Inst yeah, on Instagram. Picked these up on Instagram for uh, for retail, pretty much. $10 over retail, which is a really good price. 350 Naturals. Caught these for retail as well. These were sitting for a while. Really sick colorway. Uh, I know it's super like plain and, and natural, but natural, well, that's the name of the colorway. Super neutral, but that's what I love about it. It has like this kind of vintage look, and that's not something we really get out of a lot of Yeezy models. That vintage creamy outsole like that. Reminds me of like when a Jordan 1 has a sail outsole or midsole instead of a white one. Tepras 700 V2s. Have these in a 9.5. I want to size swap or sell these, try and get a size 10 because the 9.5 is a bit tight. And Yeezy, or Yeezy, Adidas actually gives me a lot of Yeezys as a, as like promo, as proceeding because I'm an influencer. I do YouTube and all that stuff. So these were for free. So were the utilities. A lot of the Yeezys I got for free from Adidas. So I want to give a thank you to Adidas for always continuing to, you know, support me over the years. It really means a lot. Next up, we have some non-Adidas sneakers, uh, ironically. We got some Nike Dunks right here. Uh, bought these, I believe, on StockX a bit early. And then because of the shipping times and everything, I paid like a hundred dollar plus premium and then I got them like two weeks late after the release and then the price plummeted a lot so I felt dumb for buying these. Next up we got some Puma MCMs. This was a gift from Puma unlike the other pair that I got in a trade. This is the white colorway here. I wore these a, summer, a few summers ago and I made some really great memories in these in California so good times good memories tied to these particular shoes. Next up we got more Yeezy so as you can see we have like a big stockpile of Yeezys right here. So let's get to the 380s. We got the uh, the Peppers. Not too crazy about these ones. I bought them mainly to review. So if anybody wants these for retail or below retail, I'll hook somebody up for sure. Got some more 700s right here. Let's see what we got. Ah, I forget the name for these ones because it's been a long time. My dog Misty actually got to these and she chewed off the aglets on one of them, which is really unfortunate right here. You can, you can see that it's been torn off. I think I wore them a lot one trip to Japan. Haven't worn it much since then. I think it's because, oh, these are size 10 too. The mauves, that's what they're called. The mauves. I think it's just because Misty got the aglet. So I have to buy replacement laces and I'll probably wear them more. Have you guys ever had your own pets or dogs destroy your shoes? I would love to hear your stories in the comments, but let's get to the next 380s. I think this is going to be the triple black pair. Yeah, so the, uh, the Oinks or the Onyx? I think I call them the Onyx. 
or triple black. Real clean. Get a more up-tempo Olympic co colorway. This is like the navy blue and white one. When I think of retro Nike basketball, this is the shoe I think of. That air, that massive air on the side. We have some, I believe, the LA to Chicago's. Yeah. So the homies over at eBay blessed me with these. And that's also a website you guys can use Karma with. I use it typically for tracking a lot of items like Pokemon cards specifically. But yeah, Karma is great for eBay. And these were picked up basically from eBay. And one thing I really want to do with these is once I'm able to travel to places like Japan and Philippines and, and mess with my shoes and make memories and shoes again I want to have these like be thrashed and destroyed in a good way because these reveal the Chicago one colorway underneath this purple and gold paint so definitely a shoe I want to wear and beat to the ground just like my bread ones next up are one of my favorite ones from last year we got the Japan Co uh, midnight navy ones these are sick and a retro of a sneaker that released in the early 2000s, I believe. Got some Adidas Oswegos in this green colorway. Very loud, like very, very loud. Really reminds me of like the, the Glow Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. We also got some Adidas Young 96s. I reviewed these on the second channel, I believe. Laser Orange Jordan 1 Mid. Quality is nuts. Best quality Jordan 1 mid I have in my collection. It even rivals many of my Jordan 1 highs. Then we got the Hue NMDs in this fantastic colorway for the fall season. The colorway is super unique and they're colors you wouldn't typically see together on a shoe. So I think they did a really great job on these. Back to the Yeezys. We got a whole bunch more. So let's get into these. We got the Glow in the Dark Glow Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. I've only worn those twice, man. They're so loud. We also have the, ooh, the Statics. I remember buying these and these were sitting. I think I bought a whole bunch of these. Got the Static 350 V2s. Fantastic, fantastic colorway. I think my sister even has a pair. I'm not too sure. Next up, we have these Zebras. These are my favorite Adidas Yeezys of all time. I know they've restocked them several times now, but uh, but yeah, this is a fantastic shoe. Uh, Adidas blessed me with these, and I think the resale was like $1,000 for the longest time. So I turned them into beaters. I love these shoes a lot. Resale's not as crazy anymore because of the multiple restocks. And then the final pair, we got the black, uh, what's it called? Pirate Black? Yeah, they're called the Pirate Black uh, or the triple black easy boost 350 v2s fantastic colorway as well and i also have uh i can't seem to find it i'm not sure where it is but the og like alarm clock easy boost 350 v2s the ones with the red lettering on the side adidas also sent me those and those are the first Yeezys they ever sent me that was a really really incredible thing to receive from them so next up, we have to get on to the off-white section of my collection, which brings us to the final six pairs. Final six. Actually, there's one Jordan one, so that's not an off-white, so we'll get to that right now. We got the Bread Toe Jordan 1s, arguably the best non-OG colorway. People love these things. I even put polls on Instagram asking you guys if you like the Bread ones more or these, and these were like a 50-50 tie. It was crazy. At some points it was leading, which was just crazy to me. On to the off-white kicks. We got the off-white. You guys can actually see with the lid here. This lid is so cool. Off-white UNC's right here. These were from the homie Grant, not a gift, but I bought them from him for a really, really good price. Now the value on these is crazy. He actually camped out for these at the uh, the Jordan store when he picked up a few pairs. So I love these like multi-thousand dollar Jordan ones. Amazing, amazing shoe. Moving on to some more off-white heat. This is one of the only raffle wins I got in 2020. So I was stoked I was able to buy these. These are the Nike rubber dunks right here. Really, really cool shoe. This is like Virgil's first uh, non-collaboration shoe with Nike. Now on to the final three sneakers. But before we get to that, I do want to ask you guys to comment down below your maybe two favorite sneakers in my collection. I would love to hear what you guys think about my collection so far. And of course, if you haven't yet installed the Karma app, the Google Chrome extension, download it. Click the link down below to make your online sneaker shopping a lot easier. So download them. Link down below. Shout out to Karma. But with that said, we got three more pairs. We got the Nike Off-White Hyper Dunk 2017s. These are actually a gift to me from Nike Toronto. Nike sent these to me. They don't really send stuff to me very often, so I really appreciated these. Then we have these right here. These are the Converse Off-White 1970s. These were a gift from Converse, and this was an incredible, incredible pair as well. It's one of those shoes that you can see through 
It's really, really unique. They're a little on the uncomfortable side because of the material. This is a shoe you definitely are wearing to flex on people with. You're not wearing this for practicality. And the resale on this pair particularly is insane. And now on to the final sneaker. This was a marathon of a video, maybe my longest video on the channel. So if you made it to the end, hit that like button down below and comment your favorite pairs in my collection. Give me your top two. I'd love to hear what you guys say. But this was a pair my girlfriend won a raffle for. I signed her up because you know, you want to increase your odds and she won these. So. We got the Nike off-white blazers right here. These are also beaters. And I remember specifically when I won these, I was in New York on that Gary V trip. And my girlfriend told me that she won the raffle the same day I dropped out of school or dropped out of college, which was really cool. If you guys made it to the end, hit that like button, comment down below your top two favorite pairs in my collection and download the Karma app, Google Chrome extension linked in the description and in the pinned comment. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.